Hey, I'm Freddie Allen, and you're watching Rock Quarter Revelations. So we've looked a lot at, um, like, crystal rocks and, and like stuff like that. Today I want to look at um, more, like, iron and other kind of ore-type rocks. I've got quite a few of them, too. I mean, everybody, you know, like, I guess, you know, it's just human nature, I guess, to... to see sparkly stuff and, and you know I want to look for gold and and you know it's not <laughs> as simple as it might seem but it, like everything else occurs in so many different forms and under different conditions and from dust to flakes to particles to nuggets to not very often found in crystalline form but but then other things like pyrite that is often confused with it and yet I you know can find a thousand different types of pyrite and not a single speck of gold it seems like but I've read a lot that most pyrite does have at least trace amounts, if not up to like an actual percentage of actual gold with it, crystallized with it or whatever. But, um, it's very, uh, hard to determine in nature. what's what so these are a lot of the just the different ore rocks that I've collected so they got them real good a lot of iron and pyrite and other iron ores and copper ore and tin and lead silver and possibly gold. Some, a lot of it right here, like with quartz and and like micas. I don't know if it what if it's biotite or, or muscovite or I'm not sure exactly why, but some kind of mica type minerals in which then a lot of the more precious metals that occur with it would be in like flakes and stuff but there are still some good masses of different things like copper and stuff you see there and some things that I don't know what they are, possibly, you know, different other types of rare earth or precious metals, I don't know. But I feel like I've learned a lot, but I still like I know there's just so many things that I don't know still and just just it's just such a huge amount of possibilities and variables when it comes to nature and rocks and minerals and and then even you know organic things and that have then been processed back into the rock cycle and it's um I don't know very difficult to figure out the complexities of the rock cycle, kind of a paradox. I'm trying to keep the camera steady. I don't move too fast.
There's more stuff. Like, like, I don't know. I just really like became really interested in just the inner makings of the rocks and just like I don't know. I never expected to uh, acquire such a large amount or assortment of different things and discovered some things honestly I thought I'd be you know become rich as soon as I showed them to somebody and, and it's really a tough a tough uh, trade to make it in if you're not if you're a nobody you know like I, I you know don't have connections, you know, are not, you know, no reputation in the trade, just, you know, I just started as a, you know, just as a hobby, so kind of therapeutical, just to kind of take my mind off of other things in life and, and, you know, and just calm me down to, I mean, and I just really took on a fascination which may be more of an obsession now I, I don't know I kind of overwhelmed with it I know I need to uh, downsize I need to get rid of some I got way too much stuff and just I don't know what to do with it I don't know I don't know how to find reputable or honest you know, people that to deal with that won't just try to rip me off or like and I don't want to try to rip nobody off either. Like I just you know and then there's just so many pieces that I just really I don't it's so incredible to me I would even hate to even think about parting with or getting rid of but but honestly my kids are tired of them they probably they hate these rocks honestly they, they would much rather me see me get rid of them be done with them move on to other things and in ways that probably right they've consumed a huge part of my life and just time I should do something else but they it's still just such amazing things like that I still see in them and just like oh, I could just let them for, get lost in them for a while. But, but so hopefully making this channel getting them out there where other people can see them. Something productive, maybe something better will come of it than just me being the only one that even knows they exist. There's some I have that are really like literally unidentified, like no one knows what they are and of course, you know, you know, skeptical and but I mean I I honestly believe they're and not yet discovered mineral or variation or variety of a mineral carbonous mineral or carbides possibly more than one that was my my hope in the beginning when I first started finding some of it I, I thought you know I'd get it classified and, and be able to you know I was going to name a couple of minerals or, you know, diamond types or carbide type mineral types, but had the names picked out. Still haven't picked out for them, but hopefully, and, you know, I still believe that they're, I mean, nobody's been able to identify them that I've, you know, taking them to but nobody really takes me very seriously anyways it just 
they're just one of those things that are just so like incredibly like phenomenal that they just like they just look fake nobody would take them serious for a second they just figure they're too good to be true and just don't even waste the time to even consider that maybe just maybe I'm not telling them lies that I mean I've I mean but you know I can't drag my whole rock collection to show them so I don't know it's it's just a tough deal And then nervous about showing them to somebody, and, and then, you know, like, somebody, and then having them stolen or taken or, like, getting robbed or, I don't know, just watch too many movies and. But anyways, just want to show you some other types of stuff once again. Hope you enjoy, keep watching, subscribe, I appreciate you. Until next time, take care, have faith, and God bless.